On my second day in Ireland, I ventured to walk into the nearby village called Calm. I walked past a church that had been in that same movie that I've mentioned in my previous installments, of which this is number four, and on into the town with tiny little paved roads, tiny little shops and tiny little houses. But to the left was what caught my eye. It was a ruin of a cathedral and it was beautiful. I walked over to it and saw that there were a set of ancient stone stairs with a railing made out of old pipes. I quickly skipped up the steps and had no idea what was waiting for me. It was a drop about 30 feet down. Thankfully, I caught onto the pipe railing at the top. It was wet and a bit slippery, but the view was great. I then returned down the steps and went into one of the tourist shops and bought a few pins. And then around the corner, I was surprised to find a shop, which was featured in that same movie, but inside there were a few folding tables with photos of that movie all over them for sale. The gentleman behind one of the tables, I believe, was the owner of the shop and had been even when that movie had been made. As I was standing in the shop looking at the photos, I heard a noise outside. I turned around and there was this woman standing in the street, beating her rug against the pavement. She stood there in her skirt and combat boots and just continued to beat the rug until she was satisfied and happy with it. It was just amazing. It put a smile on my face to see the local culture and how down to earth everything was in a town so close to that castle hotel. When that movie had been made, it wasn't even a hotel. It was just a castle that they had rented to stay in and the plumbing was not good. And there are so many stories about it. Apparently now, since Ashford Castle has been renovated, they actually have a theater and they play that movie. It's called The Quiet Man with John Wayne all the time. It's just part of the experience. I would love to go back, but between work and injuries and car accidents and everything else in life that happens, I have not gotten back there and I regret it terribly because as I said, it was in a once in a lifetime trip, but I'm hoping I get to go one more time. Somehow, <laughs> but you know, when you try to recapture something, it may not be the same. And I'm not sure it could ever be better than what I experienced when I was there, unless I find someone to experience it with. It was a beautiful place and I will have more to come to be continued.